Assalamu alaikum everybody. I am really excited to be making new clips. I went through a period where I was just recording content but I wasn't actually editing videos, making videos and the reason being is because I wanted to be a little bit more private with my life. I just wanted to focus on work, family, and editing videos kind of takes a lot of time but inshallah i'll be making more videos because i really do love making content i love messaging people and helping them through their nursing journey and i think that's reminding myself that that was the reason why i created this channel created this platform kind of helps um get that motivation back so with that being said oh my gosh <laughs> With that being said, your little baby Muslima has completed her very first year of residency, nursing residency. We were meeting once a month for an entire year, starting, my month started in the month of August. Um, if you're newer to my channel, I did take my NCLEX, the state board exam, in order to get your um, RN license to practice after you graduate school. I took my exam July 5th, and then I got my RN license number July 6th, the day of my birthday, that morning. So every single month, once I started my new job at um, my hospital as an RN, every month we were meeting for about four hours. We were divided into subgroups. Those groups worked on a project related to nursing, of course, and we just learned about nursing, how to manage our time, how to take care of ourselves, what is nursing really about. So it was really like, it was really nice to go through and meet with these people every single month because it was a small community where everybody's new. They don't really know what nursing is about. They all just graduated. So, so we were meeting once a month. We met for about four hours. We worked on our projects. And then the very last meeting that we had was last Friday. It was every group presenting their project. Unfortunately, I didn't take any clips. I really wanted to, but it was just a sitting us sitting in like the auditorium, listening to each other's projects. And, um, once we went through all the projects, we kind of gave appreciation to our mentors. Every single group had a mentor guiding us and listening to our pals and wows every month, listening to what our struggles were, and just watching us grow progressively throughout the year. So we gave appreciation to them, and then in the end, we went over the third, second, and first place uh, of the projects, and... I didn't realize that there was like, you know, who was going to win the project until somebody in my unit who's also, you know, she just finished residency and alhamdulillah, um, she just finished residency and she was able to present her project. She got second place. So we were sitting waiting for the third place to, you know, um, get announced. When I heard the group that got third place, I was like, there's no way that this group got third place. They deserve to get first place. So the second group second place gets announced and one of the girls was like before it was announced she was like you know we did so bad on our project and they got second place so I was like if I don't get first place if my group my team doesn't get first place this is crazy and alhamdulillah they announced my group and I got first place in my residency project I am so proud now we get to publish our project and I will talk about what what our project was so there are different kinds of opportunities not opportunities but resources that nurses are offered so one of them being to make our job easier is lift team you know we're able to call lift team page lift team which you know our other associates in this department to help us reposition move patients they're educated in ergonomics they know how to you know move use their uh, proper body mechanics and they're able to assist us moving the patient repositioning the patient to prevent pressure injuries um, they're very knowledgeable and skilled in using the equipment that help safely move the patient patients so I wanted to do our team our group wanted to give appreciation to lift team and so our Pico question was related to how a nurse's perception using lift team versus not using lift team how are nurses perception of their care just really quickly i completed my 
second shift last night and I do work again tonight. I made that first clip right before the first shift this week in a rush. Um, but yeah, so with my residency project, because I won, um, first place we'll be able to publish the project. I'm hoping we can make some revisions, clean up the PowerPoint a little bit, um, and then I have no idea what happens after that. I also get to present it to um, my colleagues on my unit in the very next unit meeting that we have. I'm very excited for that. Um, and then hopefully, inshallah, this YouTube channel will now be able to not only be a resource for nursing students, but also show my nursing career in general, because my entire intention, the number one goal I had going into nursing school was to become a neonatal nurse practitioner, work with sick babies. Um, my, my vision that I had strictly was how to become a neonatal nurse practitioner and that's essentially why I got my RN, my associate's degree. So I'm very excited to be sharing my nursing journey. Um, I'm very excited that I completed my very first year of nursing. They did a big recognition at the very last residency meeting that a lot of people don't even complete their first year. Um, so it's a really big milestone accomplishment to complete a full year of nursing. And I'm very excited to see where my career takes me. Assalamu alaikum. It's, it's 8.38 p.m. in the evening. I got off work this morning and I usually like to get, um, get up around like two, three o'clock in the afternoon and um, just pick up, do like a Sunday reset after my three shifts in a row. Um, but unfortunately, I was so tired today that I just stayed sleeping. Um, yeah, I woke up for my prayers, thankfully, alhamdulillah, but it's 8.40. I, I have to pick up just a little bit, eat something, and then hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to, um, I, I hope that I can go back to a, like a regular sleep schedule tonight, just get a few hours of sleep, um, that way I can have a full day tomorrow inshallah because i have all these days off and i would love to share them with you as um as a nurse it's really nice to just connect with family meet up with friends um find new hobbies shop treat yourself um because nursing is so stressful so i'm very glad i'm able to share that with everybody but tonight i just want to pick up my space um, working three in a row is very hard to keep my space clean. Um, luckily, I was able to like keep up with the dishes while I made stuff to eat before work, but I do still have some stuff in the sink, so I want to wash dishes. I obviously have laundry to do from you know like my three shifts. I have to wash my scrubs, um, and then the living room is picked up. The bathroom, of course, I have to pick up. There's clothes. Um, I like to wipe off the countertop, toilet, everything, and. I noticed that on my third shift um, before work, I noticed on my third shift, ugh, I wanted to sit. <laughs> I noticed that I wanted to like sit outside and like eat something, but I only have like a small bench. So I definitely want to order some stuff. I want to order like a little bit more furniture. I do have like a coffee table, a small ottoman for when I get an accent chair and then like a my sofa but i want to get more furniture so that i can feel more comfortable in my space it's very important to feel comfortable in, my, in your space um i also invited my family over for the very first time the other day and i didn't have much seating so i do want to get a um a dining room table so i will be placing some orders inshallah today um for some you know just small things and yeah i'm really excited to share my week with you so today I woke up late again. I don't know what's wrong with my body right now, but I'm super fatigued, super tired. So it's six o'clock in the evening and I'm about to go get something to eat, enjoy maybe downtown Tampa, just to walk around, um, get some fresh air. I did, I did decide that I'm gonna just focus on traveling because I really do wanna go to other Muslim countries. I wanna visit Turkey, Egypt, um, Morocco but I think I'm just gonna wait until marriage because I think it's just the safest option 
I don't really have any uh, like friends that I would want to go with um, and if I do have like one or two friends it's more like schedule like issues so I've just decided to wait until I'm married to just go and travel um, it's like just safer and then there's like just nothing better than traveling with your best friend so inshallah I'll just focus on traveling um, and the reason I bring this up is because a lot of my coworkers are always planning trips, they're always going out with their friends and it's kind of hard, you know, being um, Muslim to jump aboard on those kinds of trips. So unfortunately, I just try to focus on like what I have. I try to appreciate my family. I try to appreciate my little apartment. Um, I instead of like shopping this paycheck that I have right now um, because this one's going to rent. I'm going to just um, make a list of things that I still want to get even though I I always have a list of things that I want to get and then I always make a new one so I want to get um, I want to make a new list of things that I want to get for the apartment like I mentioned like an outdoor uh, seating area besides the bench that I have already and a dining room table and I still only have a mattress in my bedroom so I definitely have to get a uh, like bed set bed frame so yeah those are definitely the things that i want to um prioritize um i also want to make note that even though um i am completing my bachelor's degree inshallah maybe the middle or the beginning of 2025 i still have a planner uh it's very important to have a planner keep your time organized because you're gonna have so much more free time after nursing school and even though you don't have as many assignments to complete, you don't have as many checkoffs to do or you know exams to study for, it's very important to manage your time appropriately because with all this time, you just wanna make sure that you're, that you're staying productive. Um, so I've been wanting to take classes at the mosque more frequently. So I have those there. I do have my like bills here as well. And then if I am going out to brunch with a friend or if like there's a movie that I want to see with my mom and my sister so I have that on there and then of course when my classes start and when my classes end it's very important to just keep um like be time management time management it's very important to have time management after nursing school and it's going to help you as well like you'll see your time management and your skills progress while you're working as well another thing is um I picked up journaling um mental health especially in this country is like very very prioritized there's a huge light shed on mental health and when you're in nursing it's very stressful it's very degrading sometimes so writing out all of your feelings like i i literally have how much left do i have in this this journal it's very important to just like write out your feelings um like i only have like this much left with these many pages left in this journal and then i have a long line of journals that i can fill up so it's very important to um take a moment and to write out your thoughts and your feelings and learn how to channel your emotions and your energy i remember i was very sensitive i was always so sensitive i always had to go to the bathroom and just take a moment and cry because if i was doing something wrong or if you know on uh, a doctor or something just made me feel some kind of way based on the question that I asked like I always had to just go into the bathroom and cry or if a patient didn't like me or or just gave me an attitude or was mean to me I didn't know that at the end of the shift they would apologize you know and I know that they're you know like just sad because they have all this stuff going on it's very important not to take it personal but it's very hard to not take things personal so i would go into the bathroom i would cry and then i would come right back out so it's very important to just channel your um, emotions appropriately now i feel like i've emotionally matured and i don't have to take uh, i don't have to take that time in the bathroom anymore um if another nurse is giving me constructive criticism i don't take it personal i just accept it i listen if I don't necessarily agree, I just, again, accept it and listen. Um, and then I, of course, always refer to the policy because it's very important to make sure that you're doing something safely and adequately and per hospital policy. So I think definitely, like, over time, I'm still trying to find my voice and, um, like, defend my patient and defend my actions. Like, when I do something, when I perform a skill, um, you know, it's very hard to find your voice, especially when there's other people who have way more experience than you. 
um, but definitely one thing that got me through it is writing down all of my emotions and then I was able to reflect on it and see like I didn't really need to take that personally or you know I handled that you know pretty um, mature like I was very mature about the situation um, hobbies it's very important to um, pick up hobbies because again you're gonna have so much time after nursing school so much free time I love gardening I love planting I have to, I have to show you so I have I have these little guys so it's very I think it's so fun to just like <laughs> grow things there you go yep yeah so it's also like very nice to find your your hobbies i've been wanting to learn how to sew but there's so many different uh supplies that go into starting sewing and i don't know if i want to clutter my space yet um but i do want to learn how to sew so i can make my own dresses a bias uh all that stuff um gardening has always been one of my favorite hobbies because there's just such a very nice feeling when you grow your own tomato. Um, what else have I grown? I like to grow my own avocados. Granted, they kept on dying because they left them at my mom's house. But um, I have another avocado and I have another mango tree going. Um, and then these I have like lemon and oranges and then of course tomatoes. Unfortunately, my tomatoes, I feel like they only ever give me like one or two tomatoes but I, I'm not giving up, so yes. Um, another thing is, luckily because I am a new Muslim, it's really nice to be a part of the Muslim community, so I'm trying to go to the mosque more, I'm trying to attend more classes, but you know, I am still like a really new baby Muslim, so it's kind of like hard to like fit in um, and like find somebody like my age that I can connect to, so inshallah, I will be able to find my own little journey my own little group my own little um schedule but yeah i just wanted to make light of all of that um taking time to like organize all of your thoughts organize all of your bills um your schedule it's just very important to take time uh to do that when you're off just recollect your thoughts i'm back from the gym i stopped and get, got an oil change real quick because it was it was due um, I used to post like a little bit of like gym clips back when I was posting a lot of YouTube videos during nursing school Now I don't do that anymore because I don't want to draw attention to myself But if you guys are curious, I do want to share my workout um, I usually just make up my workouts as I go. I've been in the gym for like five years since like 2018 um, Of course like considering that little break that I had after graduating um, But I did five minute stair climber. I think the setting was just like six the stair climber is just like my worst enemy and I'm trying to overcome it. Um, I stretched my hips a little bit at the bar. Um, I did back squats, three times 10, 135 pounds, so it was just 45 on each side. Then I did front squats, three times 10, it was just 65 pounds, so just 10 um, on each side. I did RDLs with the bar, three times 10, 135 pounds, 45 and 45. Um, leg extension, so my gym, really cool has like these machines so they have um like chest press machine leg extension leg curls uh, bicep bicep curl and like um tricep extensions and they have like all these machines lined up but it's just one of each and you can actually like you um enroll or sign up on an account and, you, and it's like logged in on your wristband logged in on your wristband like this so you can log in and it'll track like your oh it's in my pocket so you can track like what's the like you so you log into the machine and then you can track what's your what is it called like your max weight your oh my gosh it's on the tip of my tongue like when you max out so when you max out like the max amount of weight that you can do on a certain machine and then you can track your workout so today i only was able to do leg extensions three times ten um well i did three times twelve ten and then eight um and i think it started me off like based on my max weight i did 
I think it started me off at like 45 pounds and then I just ended up going to like 98 pounds for like eight reps but I thought it was really cool so I really want to incorporate those equipments like into my weekly workout so I think it's really nice but after you know I just stopped real quick to get an oil change I know it's been way too long I waited way too long to eat something but I'm gonna make myself something to eat I'm gonna make breakfast it's 8 41 I wanted to stop and clean my car but I need to eat this morning I made myself just a regular two eggs vegetables mushrooms onions red pepper green pepper um, I lightly seasoned my vegetables with salt and pepper and then I used salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika on my eggs. And then I just topped it off with hand shredded parmesan and feta. And then I have just a bowl of pineapples and of course Moroccan tea, my favorite. So really quickly, it's really important when you're uh, on your days off as a nurse to check your work email because you can just get lost, you can like lose track with um, you can lose track of time and especially with like hurricane season I do get like phone calls and emails uh, notifications for or like text messages as well for um, like the team activation it means like if you're a team A you're like the first responder to go to the hospital um, and stay there overnight taking care of patients and then team B relieves team A and then team C is just like the aftermath um, that way team A and C can like rest so I'm just gonna check my email catch up on all that stuff and again because I um, finished residency and I completed my project my nurse educator from my unit wanted me to email her my project so I can present it on the next meeting so I definitely want to get that done before I keep forgetting um, so check my email email my powerpoint um and then also again like just some more journaling organize my thoughts because i don't know if i have adhd ocd odd whatever abc but um sometimes i feel like even just because i'm a woman my brain just goes like a hundred miles per hour with like all of these different things so it's just like very therapeutic to just like take a moment and write down everything that's going on in my life, everything that I want to do, everything that I want to accomplish. Finances, very important. Um, and then of course, frequently check your schedule because I like to take screenshots of my schedule and then put it on nurse grid. Also put it in my planner, but some things can happen either forget you can either forget that you switched a shift or they might have switched your shift or you might have like copied it down somewhere incorrectly so just constantly updating yourself so i will be leaving to the mosque here pretty soon but i just want to say i'm so proud of myself all of the clips that i recorded within the last few days have already been uploaded into a an iMovie i've already kind of like edited them already so I think it's just very exciting to be making these videos again um, and just taking a little bit of time to edit them and share my journey and help other nursing students and new grad nurses. I would like to structure my videos, my content with like the beginning of the video, um, like my journey, my experience, <clears throat> tips for new grad nurses, finishing up nursing school, um, and then like the end of the video would be nursing school tips and advice so without further ado more nursing school tips um so the ones that i have written down i have like topics written down how do you know if nursing school is for you how do you know if nursing is for you i didn't know what nursing really entailed until maybe the second semester of nursing school i didn't know the role of a nurse an rn specifically I didn't know how much responsibility and it's it's um you have a lot of you have a lot at stake you can lose your license at any point in time of your career it's very nerve-wracking um so how do you know if it's for you i didn't work in a hospital or i never had any medical experience until again my second semester of nursing school um 
So I worked as a nurse tech, second semester of nursing school. Um, I would recommend definitely working as a CNA, a PCT, or a PCA, whatever your local hospital calls it. Um, basically what your role is is to assist the nurse in basic needs for the patient so like cleaning the patient feeding the patient turning the patient um you know getting up the patient in the morning you know brushing their teeth any like basic skills like that that is what the cna um, or pct can be delegated so you can delegate those tasks to a pct cna etc they're basically supposed to help the nurse with those kinds of tasks while the nurse is doing more critically management med medication pass and stuff like that so i definitely recommend getting into the medical field before you actually start your nursing journey to see if medical is is right for you um so i also have down the difference between lpn rn rn asn or bsn and then np or msn so just like any kind of degree you go in for your associates which is a two-year degree you get um well backtrack you can get a certification in something you can get your associate's degree in something and you can get your bachelor's degree in something and you can also get your master's degree in something as well as a doctorate so uh, a certificate is typically like maybe a six month course or an eight month course an associate's degree is typically two years a bachelor's degree is typically four years a master's is typically six years total education and then a doctorate is typically eight years in total of education so with an LPN, what's the difference between an LPN and an RN? An LPN is a licensed practicing nurse, so they have a certificate to practice medicine. I think the scope of practice for LPNs, the only difference is like IV push medications, narcotics, stuff like that. Otherwise, um, and also like they don't do an assessment. If you're in nursing school, you'll, you'll learn what an assessment is. Typically, LPNs don't assess a patient and try to figure out what's wrong with them or um, they don't really have anything to do with the plan of care for the patient. Plan of care being how are we going to get this patient out of the hospital or progress them to getting better. Um, an RN can either have an associate's degree like myself. I have an RN associate's degree, which I went to school, a two-year program, um, but some schools offer 16 or 14 months. Or you can do a BSN program, which is typically a three-year program, and by the end of that program, you have your bachelor's degree in the science of nursing. Both ASN and BSN for becoming an RN registered nurse, um, you can work the same. Hospitals will hire you with your RN or your BSN. If they hire you with your RN, typically you sign a contract that says you will obtain your BSN in such and such years. I'm already working on it, so it doesn't really matter. I decided to split it up into two, ASN and then go back for, for my BSN, mainly because I wanted to start working as soon as possible, getting that nursing pay. And um, typically with colleges, like when you're in a three-year program, there's more opportunities for the school to put in like filler classes that you don't really need just so that they can get more money from you. So I, I went into a 16-month program, got my RN, ASN degree, my associate's degree, now I'm going back for my bachelor's and all your bachelor's classes are online. So I'm just getting it done as soon as possible. Some online universities, some online classes are like three to six months and you can get your BSN, six to nine months you can get your BSN. I'm just going to the same college that I took my prerequisites at. Um, and then like, it's typically like one and a half years. So it's not, it's not that big of a deal. Just all of your classes are online, you get them done, um, it's pretty easy. Now with your master's degree, your nurse practitioner, I've heard that um, my local university offers just a two-year program um, and then once you earn your master's degree in the science of nursing, you can work as a nurse practitioner. The difference between an RN and a nurse practitioner, um, you can prescribe medications and typically you're like working under a doctor, like an RN they'll get an order to administer medication, a nurse practitioner can assess a patient and then prescribe uh, a medication and then the nurse the, the nurse taking care of that patient would administer it so that's the difference between a nurse and a nurse practitioner nurse practitioners um, when you go in for your masters you have to be very precise in what specialty you want to go into um, I've said this numerous times I wanted to work with neonatal um, in a neonatal unit with sick babies so I don't know like there's family nurse practitioner or you can i don't know there's just a lot of different degrees but that's just the main difference between those um 
you know, LPN, RN, and NP. Um, studying in nursing school, everybody always asks me, how do you study in nursing school? Don't, don't focus on getting the latest iPad, or if you do have an iPad, don't focus on making all your notes look pretty in good notes. I did that and I wasted so much time in the beginning. Um, I think the best advice that I always give people when they're going into nursing school is go to your instructor, ask who makes the exam and what textbook makes the exam. If the instructor picks out a certain amount of questions from the textbook, the textbook will typically have uh, a test bank so they take the questions from the textbook test bank and they put it into your exam figure out what textbook the instructor is using for your exams that's how you're going to study and practice for your exams the practice questions from that textbook is going to be structured the same way as your exam the answer choices are going to be um, structured the same way and the rationales are going to help you understand and break down how to pick the right answer so that's how you're gonna study for your exams. Your first week of nursing school is gonna feel like an entire month of information. Your first day of nursing school is gonna feel like an entire week's worth of information. Um, just remember that your instructors, um, your, nine times out of 10, you're gonna get an instructor that's not gonna teach, um, or you may have one good instructor that actually teaches, but it's just gonna be for that one class. So be prepared to just basically teach yourself. Um, and that's not usually how college is. I've learned because I've taken prerequisites in college. I've gone through a nursing program in college. The difference between um, college and a nursing program, like college is, is the instructors actually break down everything. They're great professors. Nursing school is like, be prepared for drama drama with the dean drama with um students and students drama with the students and the instructors just focus on yourself focus on your if you have a study group um but going back to trying to understand like your instructor yeah it's just it's nursing school you're just gonna go through it you're gonna go through it and you're gonna feel like you're alone but it's always nice to have one buddy or me <laughs> to help you get through it so studying in nursing school you just have to find um find what works for you you're gonna go through so many different study tactics um based on what subject you're learning and critical thinking didn't kick in until maybe the end of first semester so with the nursing school content it's not black and white it's not like math it's not like um science in school you're critically thinking and trying to predict the future or trying to predict what's wrong with this patient based on the assessment information that they have for you so it's very hard to understand even like i i answered one of the questions from my friend she's in nursing school and i got the answer wrong i second guessed myself be prepared for that in nursing school and you, you probably won't get the hang of critical thinking until second semester out of four if you're in a 16 month program um NCLEX so do not prioritize NCLEX studying at all in at least your first two semesters of nursing school figure out how you're going to study organize your classes organize what's due and stuff get your rhythm in nursing school before you prioritize NCLEX NCLEX halfway through your third semester and you know middle um beginning middle of fourth semester uh, that's when you prioritize how you're going to study for NCLEX now I used ATI um, I know other schools use HESI I've, I've seen that HESI and ATI structured questions and rationales are pretty similar my school extensively used ATI um, especially towards the like the third and fourth semester of my program because we used so much ATI questions, exams, and, and practice, and um, simulations, that's, I feel, what helped all of us uh, pass our NCLEX the very first time around. So definitely ATI, once once you get into your like third and end of fourth semester, definitely prioritize ATI versus like the first semester, second semester, prioritize what the teacher is actually putting on the exam. Just pass. Pass the first two semesters and collect third and fourth semester. I wish somebody taught me this 
because in the beginning um, I didn't know I had all these resources I had ATI textbooks simulation codes simulation resources it was just so overwhelming nobody sat down with me and helped me differentiate the resources so I'm telling you now like that's how you study um, like these are the different uh, like degrees and then of course like don't prioritize NCLEX until the very end I really really hope this video helps everybody um, understand like what I do with my nursing career and how to get you through nursing school please comment down below if you have any suggestions on what you want to see um, and then please also DM me on Instagram my page is private but I always go through my requests and I love helping others so inshallah I will be making more videos how to or how I wear my hijab in my scrubs and then stay tuned because I would love to make a how I reverted video and why I reverted to Islam so inshallah I will see you guys all in the next video